was the last time you had tofu? For some of us, it may have been a while. For others, it might have been never. But did you know that tofu is one of the most versatile foods that you can keep stocked in your kitchen? We're being joined by certified holistic health coach Whitney Werner with She Lives Fit. And she's here to share the reasons why we should be reaching for tofu if we're trying to cut back on meat, but don't want to have to cut back on our favorite recipes or eggs or other things. So exactly. Welcome, Whitney. Thank you. You got me first started on a tofu kick after we tried air fried tofu. Yes. So we're going to do a recipe today, but you're also going to just talk about tofu and the different types mm -hmm. and share some examples of what you can make with that. Exactly. So a lot of people, when they start exploring something meatless like tofu, they're kind of going in with the expectation that it's going to taste like meat or it's going to taste like eggs. And then they feel vastly disappointed because it's not exactly the same. It's going to actually taste like whatever spices you add to it. Right. So uh, if you start to spice it in a more kind of savory way, like I'm going to show you today for a tofu scramble, it has a completely different dynamic than if you go with more Asian spices like soy sauce, tamari, um, garlic, ginger, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So it really just is a sponge for whatever flavors you like. And it's very adaptable. Um, the kind of tofu that we're working with today is an extra firm organic tofu. Um, you'll find at the grocery store some varieties are um, firm, soft, or even silken, which looks like this. This is actually shelf stable and it's silken. You'll see it says silken above tofu even though it has firm. Silken tofu is not what you want to work with if you're looking to use it as like an egg replacement or as a um, as a protein source replacement. Like, like if a, you're going to eat it and air fry it. Air fried or like a chicken strip kind of thing or like tossed with a stir fry. You probably don't want silken. This is going to be more for desserts, for sauces, for dips, for smoothies, for blending than the, than the firm and the extra firm varieties. So I'm using an extra firm today. I'm going to show you how I press the liquid from it and then kind of slice it apart and how it crumbles in a way that's very similar to what people experience with this scrambled like eggs. eggs. Right. Right. And the consistency of it is going to have that similar sort of texture that you would expect from a scrambled egg, although the taste is slightly different. Okay. Let's so, get started. Let's do it. Um, if you use tofu in your kitchen a lot, an easy pressed tofu press is really great. I found this, I think, on Amazon. Otherwise, when you uh, open your container of tofu, you'll just slice it with a knife drain the moisture from it and then wrap it in some paper towels and I use like a like a thin dish cloth to wrap it and then you'll want to just place something heavy like a cookbook on it to kind of drain some Help of the moisture it. out. If you don't do this step whether you're using extra firm or you're using more soft or silken um, you're gonna have some pretty mushy tofu. Yeah. Um, no, it's never good. Yeah. And the reason I like the tofu scramble as a place for people to get started with tofu is a lot of times people experience like sticking or crumbling a part of their tofu when they're trying to keep it in cubes or in strips. Right. This you don't need to worry about. We're going to crumble it. You want it to do that, yeah. We're going to crumble it all up. So, and it usually doesn't stick if you use a non-stick stick skillet and a little bit of cooking oil. So, um, I've got my tofu pressed here. Um, I'm just going to slice it kind of this way here first. And if you were going to just keep it into cubes, I can kind of show you what that looks like. We're going to just slice it into little strips. But you do this step even if you're going to scramble it. I do. You probably don't need to. You okay. could probably just crumble it in your palm. But I like to just start with it in pieces. I feel like that's a little easier. Um, and with the tofu scramble, I, I use whatever veggies I have on hand and prefer. I brought in um, some onion, bell pepper, some peas, spinach, and a little vegan cheese just for a little something. Mm -hmm. um, in the recipe I brought this morning, I have some green onions too. Um, so I've got these in little cubes. You can leave it like this if you're going to pan fry it or, or put it in the oven or air fry it. Otherwise, literally, we're just, we're just, we're just going to crumble it all up. Um, you can use a potato masher too, or you can get your kids involved. So and let them do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My son um, is so used to tofu; he likes to just come and steal little little bites of it while I'm. I've I've done that too. Yeah. But like you mentioned, there's not a whole lot of flavor. There's to not it, much flavor. Whatever seasoning you add mm -hmm. is the type of flavor it takes. Exactly, on. exactly. So it doesn't need to be exact. Um, we're just kind of crumbling it into pieces there, kind of like a scrambled egg. Um, and then I, I usually pull this recipe together probably in about 15 minutes. I just made it this morning to bring in, took 15 minutes, top to bottom. Very simple. So make sure you've chopped your veggies, get your skillet ready, have, the, have that cooking with just a little bit of garlic. Okay. I like a little garlic for some flavor. And then I'm going to add a variety of spices here. Because now again, this is what gives the flavor of Correct. Tastes like egg. Kind of a little bit more savory, a little yellow. Mm -hmm. um, I like nutritional yeast. It has kind of a cheesy, nutty, savory flavor to it. I use about one to two tablespoons. I like a little more. You can do less if you don't care for it. 
Um, I use a little paprika. So I've got about a quarter teaspoon is all of paprika. And you don't need to put all this together in a skillet. I or in a bowl like this, it's just for demos today that I'm doing that. Otherwise, just I, just, right I just throw it all in the skillet after my veggies have cooked. Um, this is turmeric. Turmeric is where you get that bright yellow color, and it has kind of, kind of an Indian sort of spice to it that's a little unusual. Some people might not have that in their pantry to begin with, but it's actually a pretty versatile spice. Um, some salt, um, quarter teaspoon to a half teaspoon of salt, depending on your preference. Um, a little black pepper. Uh, one thing that I have heard it works really well in tofu scramble I don't have in my kitchen is a um, like a like a black sea salt. It's supposed to have kind of that oh, sulf really? black sulfury sea salt. sort of eggy sort of flavor okay. to it. Um, but I just don't have any today. Um, and then this is ground mustard. You can even use like a little yellow mustard. Sometimes I'll do that too, just Put to kind of yeah, just to kind of mix it in the skillet. If you want to mix it all together here. We're just going to kind of toss all those spices with it. And then the other thing that I will throw in the skillet with this and my cooked veggies is I might put just like a tablespoon or so of tahini. Okay. Because one of the ways that eggs have that kind of that creamy sort of flavor, that, that's, that creaminess to it, is right. the yolk. It's that fat and cholesterol component. And you don't have that with tofu. You don't. Tofu is very low fat. There's no cholesterol. And so if we add a little bit of like the savory creaminess to it, it gives it just that softer, scrambly egg consistency. It's optional. You don't need it. Um, but I like it. Um, I also throw in usually a handful of, the, of a vegan cheese, like a cheddar or Colby Jack, just to kind of give it that, that extra cheesy, scrambly egg kind of thing. And my son and I like it with ketchup. So if you're uh, eggs and ketchup, yes. Eggs and ketchup person, you'd probably like it with ketchup. I love too. that. So I put some on a plate, dish myself up. So looking at it right now, I mean, if you set this in front of me, I wouldn't question if it was even eggs because mm -hmm. it looks like it, which is also part of it. If you want to try to eat something that tastes like it, it's good if it looks like it too. Absolutely. So let's give this a taste. I'm excited. <laughs> that is so good. It's a, it's it's got a nice kind of similar consistency to a scrambled mm -hmm. egg. Yeah. A um, little bit different in terms of the spices than you might find with tofu if you're you know going to order it when you go out anywhere mm -hmm. in South Dakota particularly. I like too that you kept some like chunks in it because that's what happens mm -hmm. to eggs too. Mm -hmm. It's not all like super super crumbled. Yeah. And you know when when it comes to introductory tofu, like if you've not worked with it again, doing something in this scrambled form or this easy. crumbled is really nice and easy. And you can do this same technique except swap out your spices. So let's say you want to try it with um, cumin and chili powder and, then it gives and you more of that oregano. Oh. You could do like a taco meat, very simply toss it with a few black beans and then fill your tacos oh my or your gosh. enchiladas. Sounds so good. Thank you so much for coming in and demonstrating how to make this. Thanks for having me.